Greetings. I would like to give you a quick overview of a system we're working on here to build mobile sites using the jQuery mobile builder. Uh, everything is actually controlled by Google, of course, and it's a really neat system. Okay, uh, you'll see a lot of different mobile sites and builders and everything, but uh, the technology that Google is using, uh, really, I, I like it, and, and it stays up to date, and it makes some pretty good looking sites, and the best part is they're compatible with a lot of different machines from uh, Apple to Windows and Android. Okay, let's get to the reason why this video is actually being made. The site that you can end up with, this is just a little example, okay? What we're going to end up doing is uh, providing templates, and you'll be able to uh, drop these templates into any site and edit them real quick, okay? Uh, we're going to do them for restaurants. We're going to do them for, you know, uh, bars, restaurant bars, and, uh, well, just about anything. I mean, we're going to make uh, where you can have uh, just single opt-in pages, uh, tap to call pages and everything. So you'll be getting something like this that you can uh, all control with our Mobi admin area here. Okay, uh, let's look at the site real quick that we can build that I just threw together here. Okay, of course, you've got your, your header image here. You got a background. You do not have to use a background. You can if you'd like. You got an optional tagline that can go here. And of course, the good old tap to call button. It's a necessity these days to to have such. Okay, and let's go ahead and take a look at uh, just our menu, for instance. This is a menu that we made through together. Little test menu there. Got us a little top to go to the top button. Go to the home. The find us. Okay, and. A lot of, uh, you know, most phones have GPS and wireless location enabled. So if they do, they can use the turn by turn directions. If they don't, they can actually use the uh, map here. And they can click on the map and be taken for directions or the turn by turn directions, of course. And uh, boom, it pops up and gives them a turn by turn directions right below the map there. Uh, you got to have a coupon area for a restaurant. And again, this is all I'll show you shortly how you can control this. Update it with an HTML editor built in. And of course, photo gallery. The photo gallery, you'll notice that, uh, let me do that, I'll just show you. Pictures will resize for tablets. A lot of people use tablets these days more and more and more. Be surprised. So you need to, need to make sure you cover everybody. We go from the smallest phone to the largest with the images that automatically resize. And the photo gallery, there's just an example page. I put this one in there, and, you know, just to show you, this is all made by an HTML editor in the background. You do not have to hand code any of this stuff. Uh, the templates are built in, but I'll show you shortly. You can actually remove things and add things to these templates very easily. Okay, let's get rid of this. Oh, one more thing. Notice the little footer bar here doesn't have to be there it's real easy to remove uh, by snippets if you don't like it okay let's get rid of that let's take a look at the actual builder here uh, show you here the snippets what I mean by snippets well, we have this completed and uh, out of uh, pre-beta as I will call it and you'll be able to launch a snippet area here when you're in uh, building your site or modifying it and there'll be a, a lot of snippets like for instance this one okay and it'll be in a text area a lot easier to use than this this is just a pre-beta demonstration uh, like this one you can take this uh, snippet here and put it right into a PHP file here and you'll have a call button okay but let's just go through and kind of explain here. What we got is the when you first open up the Mobi admin area here, you'll see all of this uh, information here. Okay, these are the actual front files that everybody will be seeing when they go to the website. So basically, what you're doing is is you've got uh, let's just say let's go to the uh, coupons area here. Do the edit. And this is a PHP file, so there's no HTML editor here. And for the most part, people that, that do not want to have to edit PHP files won't have to. 
Okay, but this is all there is to it. You notice I said something about the call button sniplet? Well, there it is. Goes right up under the header image. And that's really all there is to it. But what you're doing is, is you've got a PHP file, menu, gallery, coupons, and in your HTML folder here, you've got the actual HTML file. And you'll notice these PHP files in here, the footer and the header. Again, you won't have to mess with that for the most part. But uh, you make a file called uh, PHP, or excuse me, uh, uh, coupons PHP, and you make your corresponding coupons HTML file. And this is very simple. Let's just take a look at the coupons file here. Go to edit. Yes, we want to edit. And there it is. There's your HTML editor. And it's just a normal, normal editor, just like you're used to. You can make tables, background colors, just like anything else there. There is absolutely nothing to it. If you can edit a file with an HTML editor or use a word program, you're basically doing the same thing here in the background, in the back end, I should say. Okay, you can upload files. You uh, go to this area, whichever area, images or wherever, and you can upload a file, of course. Your server limit, that is actually imposed by your server, not by the program. And the creation and transfer, you can actually make a folder. You can create a file or you can import an image or whatever directly from a URL, a file, whatever you'd want to import. Only restricted by your server restrictions. And you can, do, of course, search. If you've got a lot of files in here, which on a mobile site, not generally you will, but it's nice to have if you need to locate a folder or a file real quick. Okay, I'm going to walk you real through. Let's do, uh, go back to our home. And let's just quickly, if I wanted to make a web page, okay, what I would do the easiest way is I'd go to my template here and click the arrow. This opens up, and I want to duplicate it. Again, there's a little bunch of different ways to make a, a, a file. You can do it by hand, or you could duplicate this. Okay, we want to call this uh, demo, all right? So we'll do, okay, make sure you're doing duplicate, not rename. you got to pay attention, of course. Don't want to delete, move, or anything. We want to duplicate the file, and there is demo. Okay, what we're here, we'll do is, and this will become clear, may sound difficult but it's not not at all okay we duplicated this all right so what we need to do we're going to leave everything like it is we're going to leave the header the header image the call button everything in place but what we're going to do is <clears throat> this says template okay because we had in the html area we had one called template let's go ahead and rename this to demo it's not there yet but it will be okay let's do a save and return Great, huh? Let's go to into our HTML folder. Remember, we got we did a uh, duplicate on the template PHP. Let's do the same thing here. Let's duplicate this file. Let's call it demo HTML. All right. So we've got a working page right now, but it's going to be the same as the template page. Let's take a look at it. There we go. There is the actual demo file that we just made, just like that in a couple of minutes. So all we got to do now is go back and let's see here. Where is, there we go. Let's do a refresh. I say let's do a refresh. I apologize because we don't quite have that part ready yet where it will automatically be added to the menu and it's something that will be added later on you would have to manually enter it but uh, that's that's a piece of cake also mainly i just want to show you how to use the editor at this point okay sorry there for for the delay uh like i said we're in pre-beta and uh i'm getting used to using this too of course i've built most of it and uh, my head is full of code at the moment all right so here is our our page okay our demo page let's go ahead i'm gonna close this and go back here and we always work in our our html folder for the most part okay our demo what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit yes we want to edit it and here is this okay let's just say this is yeah, if i can type our demo page we 
can build pages in a snap. And that is very true. Well, got to spell it right first, though. And that's all we've got to do. And you can, again, this is an editor. You can insert tables. You can insert pictures, just like you normally would on any other system. At this point, uh, your pictures, of course, really need to be online somewhere. You can upload them to your images folder and then link to them. In the future, we're going to have it so you will have a library that will be down the road. Okay, so let's save and return. All right, let's go ahead and load this back. You'll see this is our demo page. Is that easy to make? All right, that kind of that concludes showing you a quick overview of what we're working on. Go ahead, and if you want to uh, learn as we uh, open this up, our area membership area, go ahead and opt in, and you will be the very first to know and get the best, lowest price possible. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.